Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making popcorn gift card holders with the Cricut. Um, these gift card holders are so cute. Like, I'm so happy with how they turned out. And they're perfect for gifting movie gift cards. But of course, you can put any gift card in here. But it's just really is a fun way to give someone a movie gift card. Um, so to get started, go to my blog at svgnation.com and download the free template. I've left a link in the video description that's going to take you directly there. And then go ahead and upload the file and add it to your canvas. And if you're not using a scoring tool or you don't want to write any messages on your gift card holder, then this is ready to go. You can go ahead and cut this, um, but I'm going to show you how you can add your score line. So I'm going to ungroup everything. We're going to go in our shapes and select our scoring tool. And we're just going to turn this. If you hold down shift while you turn your line, it'll turn like in perfect um, increments so you can get that perfect straight line. We're just going to stretch this out. No need to um, put it perfectly center. I'll show you how to do that. Let's see. I'm just going to hide. We don't really need to hide that one, but I'm going to hide these white lines because they're kind of in the way of attaching this. So I'm going to select the score line and I'm going to select this popcorn box by holding down shift. And we're going to align this. And then we want to center vertically. Okay, and now that we've got it perfectly centered where we want to fold this, we can just attach. Okay, and now I'm going to unhide those. And if you want to write a little message underneath the gift card, um, you can do that as well by using Cricut pens. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. Let's just see. We'll write, enjoy the show. You can also write on it yourself if you have good handwriting you know you don't need the Cricut pens but I'll just show you how to do this um you can change your font if you have Cricut access if you go over here to filters and select by writing you can choose any of these writing fonts um and these are going to be your best font to choose because they are single layer um I'll show you what I mean um so you can see how it writes as a single layer right here um, but if you do not have Cricut Access, it's fine to use another font. So we're just going to find the ones that are already on my computer. Let me take away that filter. And we'll just find something that looks good. That one's cute. Um, I'm not a fan of how it separated that. So I'm going to put those on separate lines and get rid of that there. So now that you have your text, you can go up here and you can change the operation to pen. And as I said before, it's best to use the Cricut Access ones, but if you don't have that, you can use this and see how it is going to outline around it. Um, go ahead and hit Weld for your font because as you see now, you won't have all those overlapping lines and, I'll and you'll see it again with this. You'll just switch this to pen. Um, see how it's going to overlap and write on it. Um, if you weld them together, you now won't have those overlapping lines. So you can kind of just space this how you want it. And I definitely want to make it smaller. And then we're going to change and select our pen we're using. Um, if you use a thicker pen, like I'm using one of these gel pens, you're not going to see the outline quite as much. It's going to fill it in a little more. And I just want to kind of have this as a little message right here. So when you take out the gift card, you know, has a little fun saying under it. You can space that out. And once you have it where you want it, just select all of your text layers and then select the layer that you want it to write on it and you're just going to hit attach. And that's so your Cricut knows exactly where to write as far as where it's going to cut as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make this. So just click on make it. And you're going to be using your mat for this. And continue. Make sure to press your cardstock down really well on the mat. Um, you can use a blue or one of your used green mats with cardstock. I don't recommend using a brand new green mat though because it's going to be a little too sticky. Um, load your mat first by pressing the green arrow and then press the green flashing Cricut button for your Cricut to start cutting. I'm using a medium weight cardstock for this gift card holder. I don't recommend going any heavier because it will be harder to fold and a lot more bulky. Um, if you need cardstock recommendations for this, I've left a link in the description for a really good medium weight cardstock, and it does come in a variety pack with different colors. 
And if you are using a scoring tool or Cricut pens, make sure to follow the prompts on your computer for when to add them. Your Cricut's going to pause when it's time to add them, and then once you've added them, just press the flashing green Cricut button to continue with the cutting process. Once everything is cut out, start by folding the red popcorn box in half. Glue the sides of the popcorn box so that you can glue the box together, but make sure that you leave the top open. You can use hot glue or craft glue for this part. Then glue the white decorative pieces to your popcorn box. A glue stick or crafting glue is going to work for this. And to assemble the popcorn, you're first going to need to put the yellow gift card holder piece into the popcorn box and push it all the way down. And then begin to glue your popcorn piece by piece onto your yellow gift card holder piece. Um, you only need a small drop of glue on each piece of the popcorn. Continue to glue the popcorn pieces down by slightly overlapping them over each other so that you're able to spread the popcorn out to fill the bucket. Um, it looks neat if you have some kind of overlapping the front of the box, but make sure that you don't glue any of the popcorn to the box. You want the popcorn layer to easily slide in and out of the popcorn box. Once you like the way that your popcorn looks, flip it over and you'll have to go ahead and add pieces to the back. You're not going to need as many popcorn pieces on the back since you don't have to overlap as much. And you may not use all the pieces that you've cut out or you may have to cut out some more popcorn pieces. It really just depends on how much popcorn you want. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. It's just how you like it to look. And that's really all there is to it. Um, just add your gift card. And I do have a tutorial on how to make your own envelopes, so if you want to make an envelope for this gift card holder, you'll find the link to this in the tutorial and the description as well. And if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments and I'll answer them there. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you'll be notified when I upload new tutorials. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!